Oh, come on. Oof, she lost her flash, but at least she didn't get hooked. Anyway, we go for AP Misfortune, but with Manamine first item. If you don't go Manamine first on AP Misfortune, you're effectively inting. But yeah, Leandries and then Cosmic Drive, so we can spam E even more. And I got Absolute, no, not Absolute, I got Transcendence on top of that for even more access to our only viable AP spell. Okay, we can start poking, but we also want to get our farm. Our poke will be a little bit weaker because no Scorch, but it will still be good enough with Cheap Shot. Anyway, hello for the Misfortunates over on YouTube as well. We're playing a game of Don't Get Grabbed, <laughs> and hopefully Brand lands a lot of stuns, so we can all in our opponents. Anyway, we need to play the lane a little bit safe because Tear is not a combat item, really. So Jin will have better stats with his Doran's Blade. But yeah, AP Misfortune, it is a quick disclaimer, it is a bad build. Don't play, play AP Misfortune unless you absolutely love the playstyle and can't live without it. But it's, it's just worse than the Thalcy Misfortune or Crit Misfortune in every single way. And you, I mean, if you want to have even, if you want to have at least somewhat positive impact on the game, you need to combine it with Mana Immune. So you get some value out of your passive and your AD scalings. Oh, thanks, Brand. I didn't want that minion anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're getting zoned right now. Brand being very far behind me and I can't walk up because else I get grabbed. Now I can walk up. And Brand is not even trying to hit spells here. It's a little bit frustrating, but it's okay. We just need to deal with it. As long as he doesn't get grabbed, I'm happy. Wow. The longest ticking ignite ever. Okay, so I was the one getting grabbed, hmm. Level 2. But yeah, it's, it's pretty much a 1v2 lane. This brand is doing exactly nothing. So we just need to chill. Can't risk anything in a lane like that. I'm almost there. Nice, I take it. Alright. Once we get our E. Okay, he left beforehand. We can't actually harvest. So we hold this wave here a little bit. Jin is basing right now. Actually, we might just fast push and base too. Spend the gold immediately. Make sure it actually goes under tower. <laughs> Just takes so much free damage, what's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold this wave against two people attacking me for free. Sure, Nautilus. You wish, mate. You wish. Okay, and I'm going for a quick base here, because why not? Well, the uh, straightforward reason why not is that Brand might try and make something happen 1v2 and then just die. But yeah, um, Jin is currently pushing. He has to, because of the wave. So this base should be relatively free. Both the kills are on Nautilus too. That's actually quite good for us. Better have them on Nautilus than on Jin. Oh no. I'm not even losing the minions, okay. <laughs> Impossible kind of minion. Unlucky. I messed up my timing a little bit and then it wasn't possible for me to get it anymore.
Where is the Nautilus? Okay, there he is. Yeah, currently, the team is not doing too well. But we'll be fine. Ooh, Brand is landing his spells now, huh? Or not. <laughs> Just raw queuing them. When you play Brand, you need to always save your queue for uh, follow up so you get, can actually get the stun. Yeah, this is fishy. Take it. Jin was too far away to properly follow up without ulti. So that was actually fine. Okay, can a minion please? Got it. Jin mid lane. I want to push one more, just fast push with ulti. Get the center tower quickly. Okay, we're just all dead, four people. <sighs> Rough. Very rough. It's fine though. It's still playable. We can do it. We can make it happen. Get yeah, another wave. We will get most of this farm. It's fine. It's all good. Okay. There we go. Get the poke going. Oof. Interesting. Well, that was a little bit of a premature all in, but uh, at least we did some damage. You know, this with his hook against terrain, not the worst disengage. Oh, come on. I'm not used to my stuff dealing that little damage. Okay. I have my ER combo. Let's just hope Nocturne doesn't kill us again. I guess they're based, though. Yeah, where is Nocturne? I'm fairly sure he's eyeing down bot lane. We need to be careful. I can also pretty much get my item. Sorta. Kinda. Okay, Nocturne mid lane. Now we can be a little bit more aggressive, I dare to say. <laughs> Especially since Vi is here. Yeah, that, that's gonna be good, actually. Unless, of course, they are careful enough to not overextend here. 
Dude. Uh, happens. Fun fact, Brand is the champion with the highest average deaths per game out of all champions. In all elos. I should have just channeled my base. I just thought she was getting interrupted and needed my help. At this point, I might as well stay and ult the wave. Stand behind towers so and Nautilus cannot grab me. Alright, they probably based. So we just push this and then base ourselves, get minion wave advantage. That's enough, I don't need to stay for the plating, it's too risky. It's greedy. Be careful, Brand. Okay. So now we have plenty of AD, but uh, this is where we transition into the AP build. Going Leandris and then Cosmic Drive, because 40 ability haste, uh, the movement speed is nice, but 40 ability haste is just a real, real big deal. Uh oh. There he goes again. Unlucky. Well, I forced out heal. I take it. Oh, I could have gotten that one. Unlucky. Nice. Good job, team. We're making progress, aren't we? This brand lives here. Could be worse. Or does he live? If he misses all his spells, yeah, then he dies. Sure. <laughs> five kills, Jin. Five deaths, brand. Coincidence? If only. But yeah, the top side of the map's doing okay. Vi is, has like the most AFK jungler stats ever. How can it be 0, zero, zero as a Vi jungle? <laughs> anyway, it's fine. It's fine. We got this. But yeah, Nautilus getting the double ult on Brand and Knee was well, kind of dev devastating in that fight. Max rank, make it rain. Yeah, we just chill. We need to respect the djinn a lot. Well, I'm dead. Galia out of nowhere. Brand's dead too. Hmm. I'd like to just start team fighting and abandon this lane for good. Please just kill the tower, my friends. Okay, the tower finally falls. All right, we can start team fighting now. <laughs> good news. Very good news. Brand's level seven because he's been dying nonstop. 
not the best look, but that's okay. Make it rain also a solid wave clear tool. Keep that in mind. And we're very close to transforming our item. Oh. Vi is finally joining the brawl. Let's crash this wave. Three, three of them are dead. Need to pressure the tower to punish them. Yeah, Vi gets the dragon, we get the tower. It's all good. And we get the transformation in five seconds. So at least theoretically, if we hit something. Big damage increase if you're spamming spells. Which we are. <laughs> it's the plan. It's the entire idea. Okay, let's not get flanked. If they get behind us, we're instantly dead. Same for Brand. Just make sure no enemy is sneaking behind us. Of course, why does I press E they flash? Well the cooldown's six and a half seconds. It's okay to use the spell. Good enough. Oh, this is big. This Jin is also quite big. Can we beat him? I can't face tank him, we need Vi to go first. If we do, we, we can of course just walk with the Rift Herald and tell Jin, hey, you come deal with us, not vice versa. Okay. Alright, let's base and get our item. Looking good. Got the mythic. And we can't buy additional components, but that's also quite already quite good. It's a lot of ability haste with ramping ability haste for the mythic passive and uh, the burn damage. Well, the bonus damage uh, is only magic damage, so it will be mediocre, but the burn damage is quite good for our uh, AOE, uh, damage over time abilities, and for the fact we're spamming Q on them too. But yeah, I have a feeling that Cosmic Drive might actually work with this build. And with the extra mana from the Andre, we're getting like, how much? 100 attack damage from, uh, mana immune? <laughs> yeah. 60 plus, yeah, it's, it's 94 AD right now. It will be uh, more when we level up and increase our base mana. Already at 70 haste. With Cosmic Drive, he'll be at 110. I'm actually looking forward to this. I've never tried it that way. But yeah, at this point we just press E whenever we can. Of course. Just need to make use of that spell. Wear them down. And E also triggers the mirror mana. Shock and awe passive every time for bonus damage. So yeah, the, the more often we can cast our spells, the better. And one misfortune does have AP ratios on all her spells, essentially. They're so mediocre. 
Well, Idioka is almost a, a euphemism. They're just so weak. Might as well not be there. If I if Riot were to approach me and ask, hey, hey Phil, what do you think? How can we make AP Misfortune viable while not breaking AD Misfortune? Yeah, my answer would be easy. It's uh It's add an AP ratio to Love Tap. Because then it can actually work. There we go. Yeah, spamming spells is quite nice. The combination of Vira Mana and Leandri stealths quite a bit. If I can solo this, we can just take the, the inhibitor. Now we retreat like normal people. Overstaying is bad, okay? Anyway, we can get the two cooldown reduction components, so we can spam even more. Just spam your abilities. Well, the fact that Darius was so fat early definitely saved us a lot of trouble in this game. Else the eight deaths brand would be an issue. What tower is the best objective to take right now? So we should all just go there. Alright then. Come on, Nocturne. You don't want this, brother. Okay, apparently he was. Not here. Well, a trade is a trade, isn't it? Yeah, take tower aggro because of the Andri. They need to react to this still, so we get the tower for free regardless. Not enough. My E wasn't quite up yet. Five seconds cooldown, roughly. Huh? Okay, let's get the Cosmic Drive. Team is respawning, so we should just regroup. But definitely the duct tape that's holding this build together is Mira Mana, make no mistake. Alright, so now we are at 115 ability haste, actually. Crazy. And yeah, spamming Q with Lich Bane, also quite nice. So we'll get that. Also gives us another AP ratio in our kit to work with, so the AP isn't as wasted. Okay, I just missed my E. Because of the cast time. We shouldn't be here anyway, we should just push top or bot tower. Both are equally valuable right now. Sure, Nocturne. Keep your secrets. <laughs> anyway, we should still push the side lanes. I'm not sure why my team is trying to force things mid lane. Let's push the side lanes. Mid inhibitor is already gone, whereas in the side lanes we can still take a tower and an inhibitor.
Yeah, okay. Team understands. That's good. Ult on a 46 seconds cooldown. <laughs> and it's not even rank 3 yet. Oh, Lux runs into me as I ult. Unlucky. If only she had not. That was such a good angle too, and she just runs at me. Well, out of panic. It's fine. It happens. And we still kill two of them. Yeah, Jin. You better leave. Could have flashed for that, actually. Maybe I still will. Okay, no need. Can we finish now? Potentially. Yeah, I think so. The Cosmic Drive stuff, I actually kind of liked it, but, um, you know, keep in mind that AP Misfortune is shaky at best in all scenarios. So, uh, take that as you wish, but if you want to see a proper Misfortune build with AD, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.